All right, today I wanted to show you another way you can load in layers into your QGIS. If you go to this website of Geodata, so this is the, uh, the IMAP website, and I'll send you a link in just a little bit. You can play around with any of these folders. Let's try out environment. Let's say we're interested in uh, Chesapeake Bay dead zones. Let's take this first example. So let's click on that and we want to save the URL. So we'll click up here at the URL, control C to copy. Let's go back to our QGIS where we've already loaded in our street map. And now we're gonna go to ArcGIS feature server, right click on that, go to new connection. Let's call it Maryland dead zones. Then we're going to control V to paste that URL, hit OK. Then we're going to navigate to what we're interested in. So now we'll go to the name that we called it, Maryland Dead Zones. We'll open that up and let's click on Chesapeake Bay Dead Zones. And then we're literally going to drag and drop it into our map. So using our left mouse, we drag it and drop it and it shows up all on its own. This is amazing. So just to show you how quickly we can get to our data, let's right click on our layer, zoom to layer, and boom, it's all in there. So all the data, the location, and any, so any of the waypoints where data was collected, the results are all in there. So you, it relieved you of those extra steps of having to go to that website, download it, find out the datum and the projection system, then upload it into your ArcGIS or into your QGIS, tell your QGIS the datum and the projection system. It saved you a ton of steps. It's already in there. Now you can play around with the attribute table. So you'll be able to right click and open up the attribute table. And you can see the different results that are in here that those researchers collected. And you can save this as its own layer for future reference. You could uh, save just parts of it or all of it by right-clicking and then exporting this feature as its own shapefile. So just one quick way to load in new layers into your QGIS. So it's a really cool feature of QGIS.